It was a bitterly cold night and it takes a while for the machines to get started. Now we increase the pressure. We've drilled into a proper little geyser here. For Daldrup, geothermal energy is the future. Josef Daldrup specializes in deep drilling. The shaft at this site near Munich reaches a depth of 3,000 meters. Pressure and temperature are measured regularly. The water coming out of the earth here is over 80 degrees Celsius and will be used to generate electricity. These are the final tests before the plant starts feeding the power grid. This drilling has been a big success. The amount and the temperature of the water have exceeded our expectations. The plant will be even more profitable than we thought. The local communities have invested 20 million euros to tap into the clean energy source. Oil and gas prices are falling at the moment. Alternative sources like geothermal energy have to remain competitive. For Josef Daldrup, it's a lucrative business. He says he could drill even more if he had enough specialists. So far, the financial crisis hasn't affected him. Every crisis is also an opportunity. Today you see a lot of Icelanders working around Munich. We've heard about their problems, but we've had no problems yet. How many projects are being considered here? At least 117 are in the initial planning stages. That gives you an idea of what's coming up. We move on to Münsterland in northwest Germany. Josef Daldrup grew up here in Ascherberg. His father went into business five decades ago. Today, the company has 130 employees. When you consider the development, how high-tech everything is today, and the electronics and hydraulics in use, it's a huge development. After the war, my father started with an old army truck and drilled wells for the farmers. That's how the business began. Daltrup floated on the stock market in 2007. That's unusual for a mid-sized family-run business, especially in times of economic uncertainty. And it meant major changes to the way the company operates. Now, external auditors regularly come over to look over the accounts. It's very demanding. For a mid-sized company, it's a big change. Our accounting procedures used to be very different. Now we have to submit our financial results twice a year and disclose everything. It's a lot of work. But going public brought the company more than 30 million euros for new investment. A short lunch break at his nearby home, and the main topic of conversation is the business. They've cancelled the calls for bids in Stassfurt. Josef Daltrup's wife and three sons also work for the company. There are different kinds of bosses. At other places I've worked, they discuss things more. But at our company, it's different. The boss lays down the law. That's just how it is here. <laughs> Living and working in a family business can be hard sometimes. Thomas, the youngest son, is working towards his master qualification in the workshop. This is where the drilling equipment is assembled and serviced. This tank for a new construction site is high priority. See if you can fit in some overtime. Daldrup demands a lot from his sons. After all, he says, one day they'll be running the company.